Several people have written me about the so-called insect apocalypse, and a few people, including scientists, have raised various hypotheses about why the insect apocalypse might be going on. First, I want to talk a little bit about what a hypothesis actually is, and then I want to propose an alternative hypothesis presented to me by a friend that I haven't heard from anybody else, including the scientific community. Okay, first, what is a hypothesis? A hypothesis is simply a candidate explanation, typically for a pattern observed in nature. For example, a candidate explanation for the catastrophic decline of insects is an alteration in precipitation patterns or an alteration in temperature patterns. Those are the two most common hypotheses I've seen. They're basically arm waving or candidate explanations for this pattern, the pattern being the demise of the insects in around the globe, actually initially reported in Germany and nature reserves and then in Puerto Rico. So the two most common explanations I've heard, which are hypotheses, are altered precipitation patterns and altered temperature patterns. But one that I heard recently from a friend, and I haven't seen any scientist embark on this endeavor, is a sudden increase in ultraviolet radiation, most notably UVC. And I thought, well, that's impossible because UVC, unlike UVA and UVB, doesn't ever actually reach the Earth's surface. Or so I thought. And then my friend sends me on this track. First of all, let's go to the website of the World Health Organization, a fairly reliable source when it comes to matters of health, for example. And you go to their page, their web page, on UV radiation. And here's a direct quote. Short wavelength UVC is the most damaging type of UV radiation. However, it is completely filtered by the atmosphere and does not reach the Earth's surface. And this is what I've always heard and what I believed. UVC is the shortest wavelength, just between 100 and 290 nanometers, but it never reaches the Earth's surface, so we don't need to worry about it. Or so I thought. Then my friend sent me a link to this paper in the peer-reviewed literature, specifically from Geophysical Research Letters, Volume 34, Issue 22, from 2007. It's titled Extreme Environments in the Forests of Ushaya, Argentina. I'm not sure about the pronunciation of Ushaya. And it's by five authors, Hector D'Antoni, Lynn Rothschilds, Cynthia Schultz, Seth Burgess, and J.W. Skiles. And in this paper, they point out how they measured the various wavelengths in the ultraviolet spectrum and reported UVC reaching the Earth's surface. And in 2008, in the same journal, Geophysical Research Letters, so the following year in the same journal, Three authors pointed out via a published response, that can't happen. That's impossible. We all know that. UVC can't reach the Earth's surface. And three of the five original authors on the paper in Geophysical Research Letters from 2007, Danton, or D'Antoni, Rothschilds, and J.W. Skiles said, yeah, that's what we thought. We thought it's impossible. But here's our methods. Here's the techniques we used. And as it turns out, we did actually measure UVC reaching the Earth's surface. So the point of this whole long-winded story is to illustrate what is a hypothesis and how scientists use the term, a candidate explanation for a particular pattern. I gave some examples with respect to the insect apocalypse. And then I pointed out that UVC has been reported in a reliable publication to have reached the Earth's surface, something which had not previously been documented and to my knowledge has never been documented afterwards either. I wrote to the two leading authors on the paper, the first two authors, the senior author D'Antoni and colleague Rothschild, about a week ago and have received no response. 
what's going on here? Can somebody send this video clip to somebody at, say, NASA or wherever else they might be measuring UV radiation and determine if UVC has ever been reported to have reached the Earth's surface besides in this one paper? Can somebody tell me what happened to the authors of this paper? Why they haven't responded? They, at least the second author appears to still be actively working. I don't know what's going on here, and that's why I pointed out what a hypothesis is, and I'm just asking questions. I'm not proposing any sort of conspiracy going on here. I just don't know what's going on. UVC has been reported to have struck the Earth's surface in the peer-reviewed journal literature. This is amazing. And it's a possible explanation or a hypothesis for the profound decline in insects. I don't know whether that's what occurred or not. I don't know that anybody is taking such measurements. I'd like to know if they are. So if anybody can help me out with that, I would greatly appreciate it. This is a, a biological and ecological question of profound significance. Is UVC reaching the Earth's surface? And if so, how frequently? Is it just a blip? Was this a blip in 2007? Has it occurred one time throughout planetary history, or at least with humans on the planet? I don't know. I want to know the answers to these questions. At the edge of extinction, only love remains, and a certain amount of intellectual curiosity, too.